What would she do? The show about life, love, and relationships. Hello and welcome to What Would She Do? I'm your host, Saran Alman, and today we're celebrating, promoting, and supporting Black entrepreneurship at the 2018 Queen City Black Business Expo. Dr. Campbell, I'm the campus dean for DeVry University and Keller Graduate School of Management. And the reason why we're here today is because we want to be a part of the community. Uh, my name is Margaret Clyburn and I represent a business company that is all about financial success. We show people how to manage their finances and set themselves in a position to uh, be prosperous in whatever area they want to go into their life. Hi, my name is Jasmine Scott and I'm the owner of Jazzina's Creations and it is an online bakery. I specialize in cupcakes, cakes, cake pops, cookies, and cake, truffle, cake truffles. I'm based in Charlotte. Um, I ship nationwide and I do deliver in the Charlotte area. I'm Danielle Scurry. I work with Allen Tate Realtors and I'm an independent contractor, um, broker and realtor in the service in the Charlotte and surrounding areas. Hi, my name is Carolyn Jones and I'm a premier design distributor. Hello, my name is Elaine and this is my husband Donald and we are the owners and carriers of Boss Sauce. We have family members up in upstate New York who manufacture this in their warehouse. Oh, awesome. Okay, so what is Boss Sauce? Apple sauce, barbecue sauce, what kind of sauce is it? It is a gourmet sauce okay. as well as barbecue sauce. You can put it on uh, chicken fried chicken, barbecue chicken, ribs. My name is Cynthia McFadden and I'm the owner of Love and Heels LLC in Columbia, South Carolina. We have an online boutique. My name is August. I am the creator of Alux Oils. I handcraft and hand blend uh, essential and base oils for the benefit of the skin inside and out. Well, my name is Kiva Pender and I am the owner of Aviki Vents and we style and we design events of all occasions. So we do weddings, we do uh, corporate events, we do bar mitzvahs, we do anything in between. So as long as you have a vision, we can make it come to life for you. Uh, my name is Asante Curitan with uh, Carolina Cure and that's basically uh, about visual art or visual uh, acrylic paintings. We're also hosting paint parties as well, so as part of our uh, arsenal. So, you know, we're just trying to give uh, back to the community. Tell us who you are and what you do. Yes, I'm Daniel Saxon, and I'm co-owner of Livewire Sound and Entertainment. Uh, Justin Hendricks, also co-owner of uh, Livewire Sound and Entertainment as well. Okay, so what do you guys do? We support uh, DJs, and we do conferences all the way up to parties with the visual and, and audio. I'm Sharon Robinson and I am a licensed cosmetologist and I'm the founder and creator of Grandma Dot's Castor Oil Hair Growth Treatment, which is the best hair growth system on the market. I'm Ayana Gibbs. Uh, my business is Classy with a Twist. It's a woman empowerment brand. Um, it's built to make women, you know, be bold, be unique, stay true to themselves, all while embracing their own individuality. I started off with lipsticks because I'm a lipstick lover. So my name is Keelan Cunningham. I work for Taylor Made Publishing. We are a full service publishing company out of Greenville, North Carolina. So we came about three or four hours away. Um, so we take care of everything from manuscripts to copyright to self-publishing needs, and then also we specialize in children's books, which you see right here. I am here um, with my niece, her, um, her company is Octavia's Edibles, and we do um, catering, we do cakes, cupcakes. Um, I'm Jay Summers, I am an author from Columbia, South Carolina. I do uh, urban fiction, urban drama, and urban suspense. Well, for our viewers uh, who have not heard of your organization, please do tell us about your organization. Well, Create Amazing LLC is a full-service marketing and branding company. We also specialize in niche events like this right here. Why was it important for you to organize event, an event like this? Uh, the, well, the event here is the 2018 Queen City Black Business Expo, and it was very important to us because we saw the need of black owned small businesses. So they wanted to see how they could connect with the general public. They say a lot of people that want to get involved and want to, you know, communicate and support, but they just don't know where they're at.
So what has been your biggest challenge as an entrepreneur? I say the biggest challenge is everyone, you have your passion, you see the need for your product, and then are finding that not everybody believes in your dream the way you do. Um, just staying focused and just, you know, buckling down and really um, giving it my all. Sometimes you kind of lose your zeal a little bit, so I guess faith. Getting over my fear of talking to people. Social media, that was a huge challenge for the company. Our biggest challenge is the promotion. That's, that's the key to it. Getting your business out there is always going to be your challenge. Uh, the most challenging thus far, I would have to say, is just building new clients out. My biggest challenge has been um, actually finding the time because I work in day as well. So finding the time to actually do events like this or to even to create my oils because I do it by hand. So I think for me it's just time. And um, now I'm learning it's actually marketing as well. To be honest with you, getting us to buy from black businesses. I have some of the same shoes that your Macy's have. They exact some of the same shoes. So getting the exposure that I need to get it out there that I have the same quality as the bigger stores. But being an entrepreneur is not easy. What has been your biggest challenge? Getting it out and getting it to the people. Competitors. The biggest challenge, which to me is a pro and a con, is personal growth through it all. My biggest challenge is getting support from our people. Being the front face like this right here, <laughs> yeah, being out and um, talking about it, you know, but it's getting better. Yeah, it will. This is how people are going to get to know you and your product and get familiar with your brand. Yes. <laughs>while black people hold over one trillion dollars in buying power it is essential and an absolute must that we support black businesses this is necessary to help rebuild our community to decrease wealth disparity to increase employment and provide financial stability which places people and families in positions to be successful now while support is absolutely necessary it's not enough we must create more black entrepreneurs we must groom our children to learn beyond the scope of being a great employee we must teach them to be employers owners leaders and entrepreneurs in order to accomplish these things we must create partnerships we must share resources network continue to uplift empower and encourage one another and that's why i'm here at the 2018 queen city black business expo hello and welcome to what would she do so um if you would tell us who you are and what you do i'm darius moody and i sell scented candles okay i'm Melissa ann warren and i also help make and sell the candles okay i'm dominic and uh i'm part of the sales team I love it. Okay, so tell us about your scented candles. What's the name of them? Why are they special? Tell us. These are our best sellers. That's why we have them here today. We have a more variety of scents on our website and more candles. I love it. So you're all about the business and the money. I like that. So what have you learned from doing this line of work? Well, we learned how to create income and and we learned about business and we also do a charity of the month program so it just teaches us about giving and making money and investing and stuff. Absolutely and what would you tell other aspiring child entrepreneurs? Um, I would just tell them try your hardest, uh, just go out there and be confident.
Today I am talking with Mayor Vi Lyles. Welcome. Thank you for taking this time, especially to be in front of all of these African American owned businesses. What a great day for us. Absolutely. And what made you feel compelled to come out here and support this event? We all know that small businesses employ most people in our country. But so if you're an African-American owned business, you're employing African-Americans. What is the vibe you're getting from this event right now? You know what I'm excited about? I saw kids, nine and 12 years old, that have a business out here. Their parents are supporting them. Isn't that what we really want for our families? With our education system, it's not common for us to, to learn entrepreneurship as a young age, at a young age. What are your thoughts about that? My thoughts is you have to go somewhere. If the school isn't doing it for you, come to someone like you and say, I like what you're doing, will you show me how? Um, encourage parents in our um, houses of worship, our churches, to say, we're gonna talk about entrepreneurship, we're gonna promote it, we're gonna let people know that if we exclude ourselves from this economy, we will not be successful. So inclusion is absolutely key. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you were enlightened by our experience at the 2018 Queen City Black Business Expo. Please follow the show on Twitter and IG at WWSD underscore the show. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Visit my website, www.whatwouldshedotheshow to get more information about the organizers of this event, Create Amazing LLC. I'm your host, Saran Almond, and this is What Would She Do? So what did you think about the event? Um, I had a really, really great time. So I was able to find out about new products and purchase a few things, so I had a really good time. It was wonderful to see many cultural um, products. Mm -hmm. I think an event like this can even help people like me want to do a business. I think it was a great opportunity to find out about businesses that I was not aware of. And what is your takeaway after leaving? Um, after leaving here today, it just makes me want to support, you know, my people more. The products were excellent. The crafting was excellent. The quality was excellent. Uh, mostly just the different minds and the spirit of the people. I'd like to find some kind of way to be involved, so that's my next step.